A warm greeting. Today is Sunday, August 11, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it is 7.30 in the morning local time in the Eastern Caribbean, where we continue to closely monitor Invest 98, which will soon become the tropical depression. In the satellite image, we can see that this tropical wave is beginning a process of cyclonic organization. And a few minutes ago, the National Hurricane Center increased the probability to 70% for a tropical depression to form within the next 48 hours, and 90% for development within the next 7 days as it approaches the northeastern Caribbean. This morning, I would like to share information about the new projections, which now show a strong consensus that the center of circulation will pass over the northern Leeward Islands and the Virgin Islands between Tuesday and Wednesday, possibly as a strong tropical storm or Category 1 hurricane. Although it is projected to pass just northeast of Puerto Rico, as you will see in the coming minutes, we are still within the uncertainty zone of its possible trajectory. Therefore, it is important for Puerto Rico to continue monitoring the evolution of this system. Currently, some tropical storm conditions are anticipated between Tuesday and Wednesday. The outlook is much more favorable for the Dominican Republic. As if the model projections hold true, a trajectory just northeast of Puerto Rico would keep the center of circulation well away from Dominican territory. However, continue to stay alert for any changes in the forecast. And while I would like to say with more certainty where exactly it will pass, the reality is that until we have a defined center of circulation, it is impossible to pinpoint an exact trajectory. So, I believe this would be the trajectory margin with the highest probability of crossing over the northern Leeward Islands and the Virgin Islands. Starting tomorrow morning, several Hurricane Hunter aircraft missions will provide us with valuable information on where the center has consolidated and what effects it might have on its future trajectory. Let's look at the latest trajectory projections from global and specialized models. You can see that the consensus this morning is that it will pass over the northern Leeward Islands and the Virgin Islands at about 50 miles northeast of Puerto Rico. However, note that the margin of error remains quite large, so the zone of uncertainty covers from Puerto Rico to the Leeward Islands. These scenarios can be seen in the GFS ensemble members where, on average, they agree on a trajectory over the northern Leeward Islands and the Virgin Islands. But notice that there are other scenarios ranging from a trajectory over Caribbean waters and over Puerto Rico, to others a bit farther northeast. So again, it is important that everyone remains alert. Although this seems to be the most likely trajectory, it will depend on where that center of circulation consolidates. If the center of circulation consolidates further north than anticipated, this would lead the system to pass further away from Puerto Rico, while if it consolidates further south, it could bring the center of circulation over the island. Again, the greatest risk is for the northern Leeward Islands, where a direct impact seems likely as a strong tropical storm or Category 1 hurricane. Additionally, note that the ensemble members of the European model generally also agree with this idea, in this case passing very close to or over the northeastern part of Puerto Rico. Therefore, it is important not to lower your guard, and my recommendation is to prepare for the effects of a tropical storm. For the Dominican Republic, notice that all members maintain a trajectory to the northeast of the country, making the outlook much more favorable for our brothers and sisters in the Dominican Republic. Let's look at the global model's projections. They all agree with this trajectory over the northern Leeward Islands, the Virgin Islands, and passing very close to the northeast of Puerto Rico. Let's see the effects we can anticipate if that forecast is met. Here we have the GFS model, which shows a strong tropical storm and eventually a Category 1 hurricane affecting the northern Leeward Islands and passing about 50 miles northeast of Puerto Rico. Under this scenario, some tropical storm force winds may affect parts of eastern and northeastern Puerto Rico, but much of the island would not experience tropical storm winds. However, any slight deviation to the west would put us at greater risk. In this projection, we are talking about wind gusts between 60 to 75 miles per hour for the northern Leeward Islands. This would be from the island of Guadalupe to the British and American Virgin Islands. This is a significant change in the American model since, during yesterday, it was the only one with a trajectory over the Caribbean Sea. However, now it aligns with the European model's projection. For example, let's look at the European model run, where it shows a trajectory over the northern Leeward Islands, the Virgin Islands, and passing about 50 miles northeast of Puerto Rico. In this case, the European model does have some tropical storm force winds between 35 to 45 miles per hour, affecting the eastern part of Puerto Rico and the islands of Culebra and Vieques. Additionally, the German model also aligns with this projection, as does the UK model. In the latest projection of the American model, the maximum rainfall accumulations would be between 4 to 8 inches or between 100 to 225 millimeters over the northern half of the Leeward Islands, from Dominica to the Virgin Islands, where significant flooding could occur. However, note that with the latest GFS model projection, Puerto Rico would receive between 2 to 3 inches of rain, but there is a lot of uncertainty as any deviation further to the left or west would place the maximum rainfall accumulations over the island. This is what the European model shows, 
continuing to project between 4 to 6 inches of rain over Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and the Northern Leeward Islands. Well, this is the information we have at the moment. It is important for residents of the Northern Leeward Islands to begin preparing for the effects of a Category 1 hurricane, and in Puerto Rico, remain very attentive. It is likely that we will have tropical storm conditions, especially for the eastern part of the island, from Tuesday night extending into early Thursday morning. For the Dominican Republic, stay vigilant even though the outlook appears more favorable for you. Later this afternoon or evening, I will record a new update to show the new projections that will be released during today's afternoon. I hope everyone has an excellent day.